What's going on guys, Simply Pops here, and Apple has finally announced iOS 12. And before I even install this, I'm going to show you guys how to download iOS 12 onto your device. Now, I really do not recommend you download it on your personal device. Get a dummy iPhone and just install it and just see how it is. Now, before I even do that, I'm just going to show you guys my Geekbench score. This is iOS 11.4 currently. And here are the scores. So, 1551 single and 2685 multi. And this is running iOS 11.4. So I'm getting ready to install iOS 12, but before I even do that, let me show you guys how you install it. Um, you just go into your Safari. Now I'm going to throw a link in the description. Make sure you open it in Safari, not the YouTube in browser. It has to be Safari. You're going to see a link like this. And this link, you just tap on download. And then once you tap on that download, it's going to pop up with this. This website is trying to open up uh, your settings. You're going to simply tap on allow. I already did everything and make sure you tap on iPhone and then now you're going to see something like this you tap on install it's going to ask to reboot your device and then once you reset your iPhone you go into your settings general software update and then now you're going to see iOS 12 and it's going to take up uh, 2.27 gigabytes so keep that in mind and by the way guys this is a brand new camera right now so if the audio is a little off or if the picture quality looks different maybe it might look better than my old camera then it's a new camera, I just got the ADD. So without further ado, let's install iOS 12. All right guys, so now it is successfully installed iOS 12 and let's set this bad boy up. By the way, this is the iPhone 6. I'm pretty sure you guys saw it on the title already. So, and let's get started. This is iOS 12, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go into the settings. Let's go into the general about. And as you guys can see, this is iOS 12. That's probably one of the best things about iOS, just getting the new wallpapers. Gotta say it looks beautiful. Um, I can't wait to see how it look on my iPhone 10. I might actually have something. Uh, but yeah, it looks, uh, looks beautiful. Of course you get the feedback app and I believe you should get the measuring app somewhere, but I guess it's not featured in beta one yet. Uh, but it's just a lot of features going on for iOS 12. The speed, it feels snappy, I must say. I'm going to run all those apps again. And before I even updated this, I did run a quick little speed test on iOS 11.4 before updating to iOS 12. So right now, here's just a quick little side-by-side -side comparison between iOS 11 and iOS 12. I'm going to be running the same exact apps as I did in iOS uh, 11. So YouTube. Okay, shout out to everything Apple Pro, Twitter, and Apple claims that the iPhone 6 is going to see a huge increase of performance. Um, so that's Twitter, Mario Run, oh my hands are getting tired just by holding it. I'm trying my best to hold the phone steady because some people have been complaining about that. That's Mario Run, Subway Surfer. I definitely gotta update these apps though. <laughs> I'm gonna test out the performance. I feel like this is running the same in my opinion, but I'm about to see the side by side. Uh, it's not running too laggy for me. Okay, of course I died on purpose just to show you guys the animation and see how, how everything is. Spotify. And this is the iPhone 6, not the 6S. Oh, Spotify is a little messed up because this is iOS 12 and Spotify is not supported yet. Um, so yeah, that's Spotify, Instagram. And Instagram loaded up very, very fast. So that's iOS 12's performance. I gotta say, I gotta see the side-by-side -side comparison. It's little to no difference in my opinion, but then again, this is a beta software. So you never know. The performance, let's run a Geekbench score. Uh, Geekbench. All right, guys, so these are the Geekbench scores. Okay, single, 1586, 27, 35 multi. Um, let me go into the history. Uh, you know what? I have a better idea. We're going to take a screenshot. By the way, the screenshot is exactly the same. And I'm going to go into my photos. By the way, photos, brand new features, only two. Um, just basically search suggestions. Let me take another screenshot. 
so I can have them side by side. So this is iOS 12 and this is iOS 11. So damn, improvement, <laughs> improvement. Definitely an improvement on iOS, uh, iOS 12 on the iPhone 6. So right away, it's only gonna get better from here on out. So I, I'm very, very excited and you guys should be too. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's gonna definitely improve from here on out. Now, one of my favorite features already on iOS 12 is just the fact how everything is group notifications. I wanna test that out real quick. I guess group notifications is not available yet unless I'm using it wrong. Uh, I just sent myself two messages at the same time. Okay, while that's activating, you do have that feature up to 32 people you can FaceTime at the same damn time. I think that would be so much fun, just being in the FaceTime all night, a FaceTime party. 32 people, that's party mode right there. Um, so, you know, I think that alone is probably worth the update in my opinion. Siri, they didn't really mention anything about a Siri improvement, but you do have Siri shortcuts. So, um, so certain apps is gonna allow, think of it as like, if this, then that. I don't know if you guys heard of it. So if, if I do this, then my lights are gonna flicker. If it's raining outside, then the lights are gonna turn blue. I think of it as that. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then it is what it is, just shortcuts for Siri. Um, they did reamp the stock application, so now you have Apple uh, News on the bottom, and you have your stocks on the top. A lot of people don't really care about stuff like this, but hey, it's a change. And I don't know why Apple, I guess they save in dark mode for uh, iOS 13. They showed it off. They killed the Mac OS. Uh, they killed that presentation. I'm saying that in a good way. They really nailed it. Um, from dark mode, from smart features, that dark mode alone is worth the update. Um, screen time, yeah, I wanna show you guys that. So if I go into the settings, and if I go into screen time, you have Geekbench, you have settings. This is just a testing device. I really wanna see how it is on my iPhone 10. But uh, you can also limit your app usage. So if you're on Instagram too much, there we go. If you're on Instagram too much, you can actually add an app limit. So it's gonna let you know that, hey, you're spending a little bit too much time on Instagram. Hop off the gram a little bit. So this is gonna be, this could be good for kids too. I kind of look at this as parental controls. Um, you have your app limits, you have always allowed. So you can block certain applications. So phone is definitely important. So you can contact and then yeah, you can definitely block certain apps. Uh, from accessing so it's kind of like parental controls uh, think of it as that but I really do like the screen time and see your, your progress on your iPhone that's really nice I must say and one more thing I noticed this is on the top now and I noticed this uh, slight color change on the uh, predicted text so that's pretty cool nice little refinements here and there definitely refines the experience so this is a brand new voice memos app and it's finally on the iPad and as well as the stocks. Now I'm just patiently waiting for a calculator app um, on the iPad. So yeah, you, so you can record, mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check, one, two, one, two. And then now it's on the top there. So that's pretty cool. And it works as expected. Check one, two, one, two. Mic check one, two, one, two. And that's pretty much it for iOS 12. I mean, performance, group notifications, group FaceTime, and how can I even forget? You get a new and emojis. Um, they didn't even mention anything about new emojis, or did they? You know, we're gonna check it out right now together. It was supposed to be like a, you know, backwards. So, like, if I want something, let's say I want this thumbs up button to be the reverse. You can have that reverse. I guess it's not here on the first beta. I'm just focusing on features that people actually care about, but like I said, everything is just welcome changes. I would love to see a dark mode, but it is what it is. I know for a fact that we're gonna see a dark mode on iOS 13. Once they include it in the Mac side, it's only a matter of time that they, they're gonna include it onto the iOS. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this original iPhone scene where we came from to iOS 12 is pretty amazing. So guys, make sure you guys smack that subscribe button as well as that like button and comment down below what you guys think about iOS 12 so far. I would say performance wise, it moves pretty good. Oh, and the music player, same old music player. I'm kind of disappointed with that. It is what it is though.